So personally, I think one of the problems I encounter is when I do have my um, period, when it's uh, like they, those days that it's actually really painful, so I can't really focus um, uh, during the working hours. So I'd have to like take a break and then, or somehow, for the most part, what happens is I do take half days on those days. It's really hard if you're really expressive and really, you really know what you want to do and you, ha you have a voice, it's really hard to prove that in the workplace. So I think that's one of the biggest discrimination in the workplace. But I do believe that we're on our way to improving that. Because uh, as a Filipino, we have a culture na pag may asawa ka, housewife ka na lang. Parang ganun yung naging kalakihan natin. So, yung nagiging challenge sa akin is may ibang tao na tingin pag nagtatrabaho ka, hindi mo na naaalagaan yung anak mo. Which is for me, it's very unfair. Kasi mas ano nga siya, I mean, I'm not against uh, dun sa mga hindi nag-work dahil chinos nila yung ganong pat. Pero sa so, na-experience ko ngayon na may anak na ako at may asawa na ako, it's not easy. Like, kasi pag uwi mo ng bahay, you know, kailangan mo kasi kasuhin yung anak mo, kahit, kahit pagod na pagod ka na sa uh, trabaho. I'm reminded of a lyrics from Taylor Swift, yung the man. Sabi nila, um, if I, um, if I did it with, um, with grace, if I did it with, um, with full effort, they wouldn't shake their heads and question how much of this I deserve. Because if I was a man, siguro they would believe that I deserve everything, every compliment. But if I'm a woman, um, they would mostly probably like. Um, question things before they actually um, recognize my hard work. So as a fresh graduate with years of experience in the workplace prior to graduating, I noticed that it's really hard to make a mark inside the workplace, especially you need to uh, prove yourself as a woman since and dami nga pong parang discrimination or barriers sa mga skills or skill set na kaya mong i-offer sa company. Focus on what you have and bring that to the table with secure confidence in yourself. And you can apply that in anything, even outside in the workplace. Uh, make a mark is to really be good in what you're doing and to have intentions and why you're doing those things. So to really make your mark inside the workplace, kailangan genuine ka in how you do things and make sure that what you do is really what you want and according to the path that you really want to take. I think the advice that I would give is just to really like go for it if you really feel that it's something that you really want to do. Um, and at the same time, I guess make sure that you surround yourself with people that you can count on. And when it comes to being in the workplace, always support each other. Maraming mga body shaming and all. So it's painful, pero if you, ano, if you come to think of it, hindi naman physical lang ang dapat maging basehan mo bilang babae. Like, and I'm grateful na naging ganito na may stretch mark ako because I have my baby. So pag may mga times na naiinsecure ako, tinitignan ko na lang kung ano yung mga magandang nagawa ko kaysa isipin kung ano yung mga sinasabi ng mga ibang tao. She's um, Gina Lopez, the late Gina Lopez. Na she's very, um, she is an environmentalist and a philanthropist, philanthropist at the same time. Um, Ah, hindi lang siya nag-contribute ng um, socially, hindi lang siya naging socially active in the Philippines but also abroad. So, yeah. And also, um, one iconic woman that I personally know, it's, um, I can, uh, hindi ko na nasasabihin yung name but um, she shares the same family name with me. She's my mother. Um, I am an iconic woman because I can pretty much do a lot of things as a woman. I'm independent. I love myself. 
You should too. <laughs> so I am a naturally nurturer of dreams. Every day, I wake up and look in the mirror and greet myself with, Good morning, beautiful. I believe it. 